on CFAX 1070. on your drive home. Who says young people don't care about politics? Our next guest is 18, and he likes it. He also likes politics, enough so that he's running for Saanich Council. Our guest is Ned Taylor. Hi, Ned. Hi, how are you, Mark? I'm very good, thank you, sir. Uh, What made you want to run for for council? Well, I've been pretty passionate about politics for the last couple of years now, but, uh, you know, I've I've grown up in Saanich. I love this community, and I, I want to ensure that... Yeah, our natural environment, our beautiful neighborhoods are going to be protected, not only for my lifetime, but for future generations. And, you know, I'm someone who's a little bit worried about whether or not I'm going to be able to afford uh, to live in the community that I've grown up in. So, you know, these are the kinds of issues that have inspired me to put my name forward. Is that one of the uh, most concerning issues to you, is the, is the availability and the pricing of, of housing in our area? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's definitely one of the number one issues. I was actually door knocking uh, in Gordon Head yesterday, and a lot of them are really concerned because a lot of families are really concerned because there may be, uh, you know, 10 or more students in a single family home next door, and that's creating parking and noise issues for them. But it's not necessarily the student's fault because they have nowhere else to go. So one of the things I'm proposing is uh, more student housing at UVic so that those students can uh, be in housing that suits their basic needs and so we can pull them out of those illegal rental situations in Gordon Head. Uh, as a, a, an 18-year-old, what kind of reaction have you? You, you certainly sound uh, a heck of a lot uh, older than I, I would have when I was 18. <laughs> um, what kind of reaction have you received when you have been door knocking? It's been very positive. You know, most people take one look at me and, and ask me how old I am. Um, but so far, it's been very positive. I've very rarely had someone tell me, you know, I'm, I'm too young and I'm not ready and I shouldn't be running. Uh, usually people are really excited to see a young person uh, interested in, and passionate about politics. Absolutely. And I don't think it's age or experience. I think a lot of it has to do with enthusiasm and, 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 and uh, work habit. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. So you ran actually in a by-election. Uh, this was the one that elected Councillor uh, Karen Harper not too long ago, and you finished fifth. What did you learn from that? Well, I learned a lot of things. You know, I was I was much more nervous when, say, doing you know a CFAX interview like this or going to the all-candidates meetings. Um, so now I'm a bit more prepared in general. Um, it, it was all sort of a new, uh, very nerve-wracking but also exciting uh, experience. So now just having this being the second time that I'm doing this, I'm just a little more prepared um, in general. Um, So, yeah. What would you do uh, as a councillor? Let's say we put you right on the council right now and we've got uh, what we have going on in Saanich with the tent city that has uh, sort of, uh, you know, um, I'm going to say blown up there. Whatever, what's the word I'm looking for? But the tent city that sort of uh, found itself uh, right near uh, the Uptown Mall, not too far from the Galloping Goose and near the highway. Uh, what would you do uh, to try to alleviate that situation? Well, right now, the provincial government is putting money on the table for modular housing, and we haven't had that kind of money on the table for years, if not probably decades. And all the district of of Saanich has to do is find land that we own that is suitable for modular housing. And worst comes to worst, I think we can buy land to get that modular housing in place, because this is an opportunity, like I said, uh, that hasn't been there uh, in a long time. And if we can get that modular housing in place, we can get people out of Regina Park out of that tent city into housing that suits their basic needs and actually address uh, the issue of homelessness across Vader Victoria. Fair enough. Another issue that's been contentious uh, in your neck of the woods, the EDPA. What would you do about that whole uh, kerfuffle? Yeah, well, I, you know, I think the EDPA had it, had its purpose, but it definitely had its issues. Look, I don't think uh, that using outdated aerial maps from the 1980s was a good idea. Uh, I also think we should have been uh, consulting more with residents who were going to be directly affected by it. So I think we should be bringing back some aspects of the EDPA, but doing it uh, in an entirely new approach, doing it in a way that, that respects residents who are going to be affected by it. What about transportation? Uh, that's a big issue here. It's it's very wide ranging. I realize, uh, but uh, what uh, what's the number one thing you'd like to see change as far as how we plan our transportation in our area here? 
Yeah, it is a big issue. And, you know, I'm someone who doesn't own a car. I often rely on our public transit system to get to and from work. I've relied on that bus system to get to and from school for the last four years. So uh, I understand uh, those issues, and there's a lot of them. Uh, I think we need a a sandwich, along with uh, other municipalities in Greater Victoria, really need to be pressuring the provincial government for increased funding to our public transit system so that we can make basic improvements like getting uh, a bus from downtown to the airport, like getting more uh, frequent bus times, having a more reliable public transit, public transit system in general. And also, I want to pr- improve uh, connectivity in our active transportation network. I mean, right now, you know, I live just a block up from Shelburne. If I want to bike to work downtown, you know, uh, I'm not too excited for, about that because I'm going to have to go down Shelburne Street. And right now, it's a very dangerous street for cyclists. Got about uh, 25 seconds left. Tell our audience something they need to know about you as an 18-year-old, what you're up to, and, and something that you'd like to share that has nothing to do with politics? Oh, gee. Well, I just visited uh, my family in Australia. I worked in a, in a ministry office for about four weeks, uh, and it was... Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm back in Victoria now, but I had a, a great experience uh, surprising my grandma for her 88th birthday uh, and being able to see a bit of the world. So uh, that's something that I've been doing aside from Sandwich Council. You're pretty poised, my lad. Good for you. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time, Ned. My pleasure. Bye-bye. There he goes, Ned Taylor, who's running for Saanich Council. He's 18. You believe that? I don't live in Saanich, but I'd be, uh, I'd be thinking about looking at his material for sure about how he wants to change things uh, in our area. Nice job, Ned Taylor. Remember that name, Ned Taylor, running for Saanich Councilor.